Welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video we will learn how to create an absenteeism report in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen I have created this absenteeism report wherein I have four sheet tabs summary month wise date wise and supervisor wise. In summary sheet tab you can see I have created a little dashboard. Uh, wherein I am showcase this NCNS planned percentage, unplanned percentage, and month on month comparison between uh, planned and unplanned percentage. And these three circles has been connected with these slicers. For example, currently these these data points are for December month. If I will change September, June, or any other month, or even I can change the date, supervisor. Then you can see the uh, data points are getting changed. And the second uh, C tab is month wise. In month wise, you can see I have this pivot table wherein I have month on month present count, NCNS count. NCNS means no call, no so, wherein employee has not reported, and this is purely unplanned. And this is A for absent absent means employee has reported to the supervisor but this is also a unplanned this is leave which is planned leave and this is schedule count and now this is the unplanned percentage and planned percentage i'll tell you how i'm calculating planned and unplanned percentage and now in date wise you can see the same pivot but this is the date wise and one more thing you can see here uh, which is currently supervisor one. Let me show you for all. So here you can see these traffic lights. So friends, I have taken the target for unplanned as 12% and for planned is 15%. So you can see if unplanned percentage is greater than 12%, then it is in red light or otherwise it is in green light. Similarly for planned, it, if it is greater than 15% then it is red otherwise it is green the last one is supervisor wise in supervisor wise you can see I have taken supervisor name and the employee for that particular supervisor and these are the employee level information and this supervisor total you can see the supervisor level information this is also the same pivots I have given multiple filters here which is month quarter date week year shift even you can see the multiple shift here so friends i'll tell you how we can create this report so let me show you the raw data first this is the raw data uh, in the raw data you can see date week month quarter year and employee supervisor shift shift means whatever shift has been marked to that particular employee on this particular date and this is the attendance attendance means uh, what was the status of the employee like he was present ncns means no call no so no information to the supervisor or uh, a for absent means uh, employee has informed to the supervisor but in his roster he was marked as scheduled that is the reason he will be marked a not l L only marked when uh, here in roster he was planned uh, leave. Okay, so then he will be marked L. Here I have taken few calculated fields uh, to creating the pivot. I'll tell you how uh, we can create this. And this check uh, column I have put a validation. For example, for any particular employee, the attendance should be in this list only if here is anything however i have put the validation but validation can be removed like i'm copying this and pasting here and i'm putting let's say status attendance h but h is nothing then what will happen you can see this header will be highlighted in a red color that means something is wrong in attendance column okay then you can see by using the filter or the you can go to the check column or you can see filter the zero from here so this is the error and here you can put whatever you want to put okay. or it was week off 
okay so friends attendance report or the absentee report is very useful report for any process for any companies everywhere it is used format can be different but i'm trying to give some dummy data here and you can put your own attendance codes here and you can change this uh, headers accordingly so let's start i'm going to use the same data this data so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to add a new workbook here control n so this is the uh, new workbook which is book one i'm pasting this data here so first of all i'll rename this as raw data so in this raw data i will take few support column support column i'll take whatever uh, the drop down we have used here i'll take the same support column which is b cof and seen as a l p okay so b cof and c n s absent leave and present and the last column i'm putting for check or the validation basically i'm taking the different color for these headers because these are the formulas not the part of raw data okay so here i will put a formula which is count if or even you can put if condition like we have to get the one or zero if it is weak off then it should be one otherwise it should be zero so here i am putting count if and then i am putting dollar sign before the column because the i column will be fixed and the criteria i am taking this j1 and this time i am freezing the row number then you can see since this is the uh, beak of that is the region here is one i am filling right this formula and just filling it down so i i have filled the same formula in the all the columns so let me freeze this top row okay now i will put check so check will be the sum of this always should be one because our attendance code should be in these five codes okay if here is something else like you can see here this is ancinus then one is here this is leave then one is here in leave this is present then one is here in present but the sum always will be one okay if sum is zero then our header should be highlight so i'll put a condition i'm selecting this and I, i'm going to add a new condition from here new rule and i'm going to use formula and here in formula i'll put count if then range will be this and i will count zero if zero is available in this range is greater than zero so the count of this uh, zeros is greater than zero then our header should be highlighted okay currently header is not highlighting so let's say i'm putting this here and i'm putting four here so four is not the part of our attendance code that is the region header has been highlighted so immediately you should check that our some attendance code is incorrect so you can correct it by filtering zero from here okay so this is about the validation of the raw data now our raw data is ready we will put a pivot table here before putting the pivot table i will make the pivot range dynamic so to do that i'll go to the uh, formulas and name manager here in name manager i'll create a new name and it will be pivot range so i'm making the pivot range dynamic i'll use offset function here offset and then I will select the reference which is a1 then three comma 
and then count a a to a and then count a for bit this make it close so range is ready we can check it click here then you can see uh, our range has been selected now i will put a pivot table insert a pivot table okay so i have inserted this pivot table but i will change the uh, range currently this is the fixed range so i'll go to the change data source in analyze change source this is the fixed range i will take press f3 so blank this and then press f3 then you will get the list of name which you have created i have created only one name which is pivot range so i'll select this okay now this pivot range has been dynamic so now you can add the data below this and just refresh the pivot so all the information will be available in pivot automatically now here i can create the let's say month on month pivot month then i will showcase the first let's say present count then ncns then absent then leave okay now i'll put a calculated field here the calculated field will be first of all i'll take schedule scheduled count scheduled count will be my present count plus my absent count plus the ncns count okay it will be my scheduled count so i'm adding this now i'll add the unplanned percentage unplanned percentage means unplanned absentees so unplanned absentees will be the numerator will be a plus ncns because i have told you a is also a unplanned leave however uh, the employee has been informed to the supervisor about his absent but still he was not marked in the roster as leave that is why it will be considered as a unplanned leave in ncns case ncns is the no call no so wherein employee has not reported to the supervisor okay so these some of the absent plus ncns will be the numerator of unplanned and the denominator will be scheduled count this is out of scheduled okay so this is about the unplanned now i will add a planned percentage sorry unplanned and this was the incorrect spelling so i can remove this now i will add a planned percentage to get the planned percentage the numerator will be leave only l and the denominator will be scheduled plus leave why we are adding leave in denominator because leave is not out of scheduled okay leave is out of scheduled plus leave that is the reason we have to add the leave in uh, denominator okay so i'm adding this okay so i have cal uh, calculated three columns which is scheduled unplanned and planned we can remove some of from here so friends our first pivot is ready now we will create the another pivot and we will format these pivots i will tell you in the next part of this video so please watch that video thank you so much for the watching